Why is my dog licking me? For some of us, dog kisses are super cute and exciting to receive, but for others, they seem gross and off-putting. Some of us actively train our dogs to stop licking and others encourage the affectionate behavior. So what's the deal with our dogs licking us? Is it affection? Are they just looking for a tasty morsel we may have left behind? Or could there be a deeper meaning? Before we jump into this video, let me introduce myself. I'm Jessica, the furry family coach, author of The Seven Miracle Steps. You can grab your copy of the book at the link in the description. If you're new here, this channel is all about dog behavior, training, enrichment, and feeding. If any of this sounds interesting to you, take a moment to subscribe to this channel and make sure you also hit the bell to be notified when new videos are released. Really quickly, post in the comments and let me know what kind of dog you have. Do they lick? If you're here watching this video, I would imagine yes, but let me know in the comments. Great, so in this video, we're going to discuss licking behaviors in dogs. Are you one of those people who love that your dog licks, or are you the kind of person who hates it? Let me know in the comments. Either way, there are potentially quite a few reasons our dogs may be licking us. It could mean that you taste good. Now, this doesn't mean we should worry about our dogs taking a bite out of us. They just lick because of something on our skin. It could be a lotion or something else we've applied, or it could just be the salty sweat that attracts them. It could also be for affection. This is much harder to tell, but to make an educated guess, we would have to take everything into context surrounding the licking behavior. If your dog had the option to walk away or simply lay or sit down, but instead chose to lick, it could be a sign of affection. Sometimes a dog will give kisses as a way to appease their owner. For instance, if you are asking for kisses, place your cheek or hand in their face, your dog may have learned that it's easier to go ahead and lick and give a kiss to get past that behavior you've introduced. I typically discourage this type of behavior on the part of the owner because it may not always go the way you've planned. Instead, let your dog willingly walk up to you and offer affection in their own way. Don't force affection, especially when the way we show affection and the way a dog shows affection can be vastly different. Putting your face in a dog's face can be quite dangerous and it's never something I would recommend doing. If your dog chooses to lick you on their own, having the opportunity to turn away or go away from you, then it could be considered affection. However, the most concerning reason your dog may be licking you is due to compulsory behavior. This is what you really want to be on the lookout for with your dog. If your dog's licking is getting to be compulsive, excessive, or even self-destructive, if you have trouble redirecting your dog away from the licking, or if your dog is harming themselves with excessive licking, it is definitely time to speak with your veterinarian as there may be an underlying medical issue that needs to be taken care of right away. Now, if you've concluded that your dog isn't compulsive and there is no underlying medical reason for the licking, but you still wanna put a stop to the behavior, here's what to do. Dogs have terrible poker faces. They always have tells that give away their next move. All you need to do is learn how to spot them. When your dog is getting ready to lick, redirect them to something else. You could engage in another behavior such as asking for a sit, or you could direct them to a toy to play. I thought I had one. <laughs> it's important to redirect before the licking starts. Once the licking has started, giving them a toy or a treat will only reinforce the licking behavior. It's important to remember to take into account the whole picture when evaluating your dog and their behaviors. Like I mentioned before, what happens just before the licking starts? These are the clues that will help you decipher what the licking actually means for your dog. So let me know in the comments what comes to mind right now when you think about your dog's licking behavior. What happens just before they start to lick? Find the commonalities here and build a profile from there. That's gonna wrap it up for this video, but before we go, I do wanna mention the link in the description for my book, The Seven Miracle Steps. Go grab your copy now. And if you haven't yet, 
give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.